because you are i mean it's not a documentary but you know mm-hmm. this this is something that yeah. needs to respect kind of the uh the the real people that are involved yeah that's a, g- a really great question um <clears throat> i can answer it in a couple different ways i mean from the music side i was fortunate because peter and i talked about it for pro- over a year before the film was made and we would hang out at his house and he we would just listen to playlists of music from that time period that was on the radio and he was very concerned from the licensing standpoint that it not be the usually used songs from vietnam era films and so he scoured uh we listened to hundreds and hundreds of songs uh so from the licensing perspective i I was very aware of what was going to a lot of what was going to be used in the film and the areas in which it was going to be used. And that really helped inform what we were going to do with the original score. And so a lot of it obviously is piano, solo piano oriented. And the whole idea of the solo piano parts is that it's the emotional anchor to the story. You know, the licenses really provide like fun cinematic context and arrow of the era context. Uh, and then the, the original music is tapping into like the feelings and the intensity and the emotion and the piano being that more the heavy, um, not melancholy, but like really thoughtful, like intense emotion of the film. It's based on that. And so with all that in mind, when Pete was in Thailand filming, I was just sending him stuff. And so uh, a lot of what's in the film were just things I sat in my living room, no picture, anything, just doing. And... Pete really fell in love with some of them and put them in the film. And uh, one place in particular uh, is there's the scene after the Tet Offensive where it's the probably the longest piece of score and it's a piano piece and they're driving. It's with Russell Crowe, Zach and Russell Crowe together driving to the exploded ammo dump. And there's a piano piece and that was actually a good friend of Pete and I's passed away while he was in Thailand. And I just wrote that piece just off the cuff, completely improvised in an emotional state and sent it to Pete because I was sending it to members of the family. And he fell in love with the piece of music and put it in the film. And it's in its entirety as it was just played in my living room. And so it feels like it's also this emotional homage to, to our friend. And there's a lot of little things like that that happen with the original score in this film.